All right, so here we have the Can-Am Defender rear accessory bar that mounts along the top of the cage out of the box. And you can see that it comes with four holes for a link mount, and it comes empty. So you do have to buy a base link kit there. There's the part number there. It comes with rivets and then the plastic that goes into the hole so that you can stick a link tool inside that to carry something on the back of the Defender. Uh, it has a bunch of hooks and brackets here that you can see. Uh, I do like the slots here down at the bottom for mounting a light. Uh, you can put cubes on the end, uh, a 12-inch bar here in the middle, and then run the wire through the bar, down the cage, and then down into the cab. All right, so I did have to take a uh, 3 16 drill bit and drill out those holes there, uh, get a little bit of the powder coating out just so that the rivet would fit in, and then take a little hammer and tap it in along the edge there to get it down in to the hole. And then we'll take the rivet gun and uh, get these rivets installed. All right, so we're here at the Defender and we're gonna get this accessory bar installed. Uh, here's the part number uh, for this rear accessory bar, 715-005-450. Comes with all new hardware. Uh, here you can see we have a link mount that could go on there, but this one does not fit on there. You can't get the screws on. It doesn't fit underneath there. Um, you know, the, the best one to have is the one that rivets on here. So uh, here at the back of the Defender, it goes up here at the top. I have the soft door kit, so I've already taken one of the bolts out. We're gonna take all four bolts out, two on this side, two on the other, and then get this installed. You can see the new bolt on the left uh, is just a little bit longer than the one on the right that came with uh, the door kit. Uh, to mount that bracket up there in the cage for the door. So we're going to take all four of the older ones out that are a little bit shorter and we're going to put those longer ones in just so that there's more room to grab. Okay, so you can see we got the accessory bar installed on the cage. Just those nice two easy bolts on each side. Fits with all doors, rear windows, and roofs, it says. Uh, plenty of mounting options here. Carabiner to hook things hang cords or ropes, link accessories here on the front, and then you can mount light bars here if you wanted it on top or down here on the bottom. Plenty of mounting options and plenty of things that you can hang from this. All right, so here we have the tool holder mounted to the bar, and then this here is a link mount that has a couple of screw holes. You know, you can put it in there, latch it tight, and then if you needed to mount You'd have to fabricate something and then you could mount that onto that bar, you know, based on that mount so it was quick release and easy to take on and off. But overall, mount's pretty nice. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's going to be very useful.